welcome to my class today. Today we're going to move through some liquid spine movements. So we'll be really focusing on cat-cow poses and then finding those spinal movements while we're in other poses other than cat-cow. So if you will, join me in a seated position. Whatever is comfortable for you, maybe ankles crossed. Hands come to your knees, eyes close. We reach the crown of your head towards the sky, lengthening the spine here. Drawing in that lower belly, Uddiyana Bandha, lifting through the pelvic floor, Mula Bandha. And Jalandhara Bandha is that chin lock, so bringing the chin down slightly and pulling the head back. Finding perfect posture, starting to breathe inhales and exhales through the nose. We'll start to warm the body by using ujjayi breath. Just meaning that you're slightly constricting the back of your throat so your inhales and exhales are audible. If you covered your ears here, it would sound like the waves of the ocean. Remembering what this feels like, three bandhas engaged, trying to keep those engaged throughout the practice. Three more inhales and exhales. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Last one, inhale, exhale through the mouth, slowly opening your eyes, and I want you to bring your palms together, clasping the fingers, index fingers point up, thumbs cross, inhale, arms up, reach through the spine, exhale, bend to your left here. Feeling the side stretch. Inhale back through center. Exhale, bend to the right. Inhale back through center. Exhale to the left. Gentle bends here. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale back through center, exhale, release the arms. Now come into a tabletop position. So hands shoulder width apart, knees hip distance apart, shoulders over hands, hips over knees. So here I really want you to grab the mat here. Don't just let your hands be loose. Grab with the mat, try and make a grip on the mat with your fingers, really pressing in under your four fingers, that knuckle at the base of your four fingers, pressing that into the mat, drawing your fingers back, knitting the ribs in, meaning you have a strong core here, you're not just letting it be loose, pushing the mat away with the shoulders. So now we're going to do some cat-cow movements. So on an inhale, we'll do cow, Drop the chest, tilt the hips up, belly to the mat. Drawing the chest through the shoulders, looking up. Exhale, round through the spine. Pushing the mat away from you here, maybe looking back at your navel. Cat. Inhale, cow. Push the mat away. Exhale, cat. Still pushing the mat away, drawing the navel to the spine. Inhale. Exhale. 
Last one. Inhale. Now inhale, look between the hands, flip the toes under, push the hips back, downward facing dog. This is our first down dog, so it might be a little bit tight today. Just walk the feet back and forth by bending one knee, pushing the hips back. Maybe your belly comes towards your thighs. And then bend the other knee. Still grasping the mat here with your hands. Strong hands. Walking back and forth. Now I want you to come into a high plank position. So you might have to walk your hands out just a little bit. Feel what this high plank feels like. And now push back into downward facing dog and don't move your feet. So this might be a pretty long dog for you. If your feet normally touch the ground, they might not here. That's fine. We're going to go through some of those cat-cow movements from here, down dog to high plank. So we're going to push forward, round through the spine, come into high plank. And now drop the hips, lift the chin and chest. And upward facing dog, but we're keeping our toes tucked under here. Now push the hips back, coming back into downward facing dog. We'll do a few more of those a little bit faster. So in, well exhale, push forward. Inhale, drop the hips. And make it all one. Fluid motion. Exhale. Inhale, push it back. And exhale. Inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale, feeling the spine move as you did in your cat-cow pose. Now bringing it back to a normal downward facing dog. We're going to drop our knees here and maybe spread them about hip distance apart, pushing the heels back, or the hips rather, the hips back onto the heels, reaching forward, child's pose. Now, finding that same movement through the spine, we're going to round through the spine here on an exhale. Inhale, drop the hips, maybe bend the knees, bringing the toes up, or you can keep your legs straight, that's fine. This is more of a king cobra position. Inhale, exhale, push it back. Child's pose. Rounding through the spine, coming forward on the exhale. Inhale, king cobra. And push it back. Forward again. Inhale. Push it back. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Finding your own rhythm here. And pushing back, finding child's pose once again, resting here, forehead to the mat, reaching strong in front of you, maybe even look up, drop at the chest, melt it into the mat. Now rise up into tabletop again, so hands under shoulders, knees under hips. From here, we're going to tuck our toes under, lift the knees off the mat, just slightly hovering about one or two inches. And now we'll bring our right knee to our right elbow and come back. Left knee, left elbow, back. 
This is two, three, four, five, we're gonna do 10. Six, keeping those uh, ribs knitted in, strong core, seven, more of a cat position with the spine, eight, nine, last one, 10, push up into downward facing dog, release those ab muscles a little bit. And now find your hands, walk them towards your feet. Here, feet are hip distance apart. You can grab opposite elbows, sway back and forth. Let go of any tension you just built up. Now I want you to look towards the middle of your mat. Hands clasp again, index fingers pointing towards the middle of the mat, thumbs crossed. On an inhale, really engage your glutes. Keep a flat back and inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, come through cactus arms. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, cactus arms. Opening the shoulders here, the chest. Inhale, up. Exhale, cactus. Last one, inhale up, exhale cactus. Now we're going to inhale the arms up one last time. Exhale, fold forward, finding Uttanasana. So bring your feet about hip distance, fingertips in line with toe tips if you can. If your hands don't touch the ground, go ahead and bend your knees here so that they will. And now inhale, Look up with a flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Try and straighten the legs as much as you can here. Tipping the weight slightly forward into the balls of the feet. You'll still be able to lift your toes. Holding here for a few breaths. Bond is engaged. Drawing that lower belly in. Bring your ribs towards your thighs. On an inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands slide under the feet. So toe tips touch your wrists. Maybe give yourself a nice wrist massage here, wiggling your toes. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, fold forward. Elbows can drop out to the sides. Again, Bend your knees here so you can get into the position if you need to. Holding here. Adahastasana. On an inhale, lift the head and chest. Bring your hands out from under your feet, walk forward, and find yourself in another downward facing dog. On your inhale, lift the right leg up, heel to the sky here, keeping the hips square to the mat. And now bend the knee, opening the hips here. Now look under your left armpit. See if you can see your right foot. If you can't see your foot, go ahead and flip your dog. Come into wild thing, lift the hips. If you can't see your foot, stay in three-legged dog here. Reaching forward, lifting the hips. Now bring your right hand back down. Switching sides here, so we're coming into a side plank. Right foot is on the mat, left foot on top of right foot. Left hand reaches up, pull the hips up, 
as if you're trying to touch your rib cage and your hips together here. Now bring your left foot back behind you, touching the ground, drop the right hip. Inhale up, wild thing, other side. If this is hard for you to get into, you can bend the bottom knee, coming into a little baby wild thing. Again, lifting the hips, reaching forward, looking at the palm of your left hand. Now, left hand comes to the mat, coming back into a downward facing dog. We'll do that on the other side. Inhale, left leg up, heel to the sky, hips are square to the mat. Now open the hips, bend the left knee, look under your right armpit. If you can see your foot, flip your dog, wild thing. Now left hand comes to the mat, switching sides. Side plank on the left side here. Trying to touch those ribs to your hips, lifting the hips high. Strong left arm, strong right arm, reaching to the sky. Bringing that right foot behind you for stability, dropping down. Inhale up, wild thing. Looking back down to your mat, right hand comes down, moving back into downward facing dog. Next inhale, right leg lifts up. Exhale, bend the knee, bring it through. Now your right knee is going to come towards your right wrist. Right foot comes toward your left wrist for pigeon pose. Try to keep those hips square, don't let them open to the side. Pouring the hips to the front of your mat here. Now bring your hands in front of you. And we're going to move through some of that cat-cow motion with our spine here. So folding forward and then rounding through the spine as we come up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and now dropping all the way into pigeon, finding a spot you can stay in for five breaths, maybe dropping a little bit more weight toward your left hip here for five, four, Three, breathing into that right hip as it stretches, four, five, inhale, come up onto your hands, now tuck the back toes under, lifting the right knee to your right elbow, then the left elbow, left wrist, right wrist, Back to right elbow and come into a three-legged dog. Back to downward facing dog here. Walk it out. Inhale, left leg comes up, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the knee, bring it forward. Left knee to left wrist, left foot toward your right wrist. Mine doesn't come anywhere near my right wrist and that's fine. Now cat-cow motions with the spine, so exhale, round through the spine, inhale, cow, exhale, cow. Finding your pace here, making every breath a motion.
And now settling into pigeon. Shifting a little bit of that weight towards your right hip. We tend to sink into our left hip here. And holding here for five. Four. Three. Two, one. On your inhale, come up. Tuck under the back toes. Lift the left knee, knee to elbow, knee to wrist, knee to right wrist, knee to right elbow. Back to your left elbow, push it back. Downward facing dog, three-legged dog. And then drop the left foot down, downward facing dog. Walk it out here. Now look towards the front of your mat. Step or jump forward. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Bring the hands out in front of you about six inches in front of your feet. And again, those cat-cow motions with the spine. Move at your own pace. And now on an inhale, rise with the flat back, palms pressed together. Exhale, Samasthiti. Bring your hands to heart center. Take a big step back with your right foot coming into a wide-legged, Stance here. Feet are pigeon toed in slightly. Hands come to your hips. Inhale, lengthen the spine, lift the chin and chest. Exhale, fold forward, bringing your hands to the mat between your feet here. Spread your legs as wide as they need to go for you to touch the mat. And then back to those cat cow waves through the spine. Find yourself on an inhale with a flat spine looking up. Exhale, fold forward deeper into this forward fold. Pushing strong into the hands here, tipping the weight forward into the balls of the feet. Feeling the stretch through all back of the legs. If your shoulders are up by your ears, bring them down. Moving the shoulders down the back. Pushing strong into the hands still. Inhale, halfway lift. Now your left hand is going to come into the middle of the mat. Right hand comes up for a twist here. Looking up at that right hand. Exhale, right hand comes down. Pushes into the mat. Left hand comes up. Feeling the twist. Every exhale twists you a little bit more to the left here. Exhale, hand comes down. Now, walk your hands forward to the top of your mat, coming into a lizard pose here. So if you have a hard time balancing, you can widen your stance a little bit by walking your back foot out towards the edge of the mat. Hands come on the inside of your bent knee here. And if you need to, you can come down onto your forearms, get a little bit deeper of a stretch. Now your bent knee is pushing into your shoulder here. I want you to feel that and then feel the difference when you push your knee out away from the shoulder. You feel a different stretch. Maybe rocking back and forth, staying up on the back toes. Now bring that knee in towards your shoulder again. We're going to scissor kick our feet so we can switch sides. Sinking deep into the hips here, knee against shoulder. Maybe coming down onto your forearms, feeling a deeper stretch. 
And now feel the difference when you push that knee away. Either just pulling your knee or actually pushing it away with your hand. Hands come back to the mat. Bring that foot back, lower down through a chaturanga here. Slowly, slowly, all the way onto your belly. Coming into a cobra position, we're going to wave through the spine. Moving with your breath. Releasing all tension. Hands are below your shoulders. And coming all the way down here. Place your ear onto the mat. Reach behind you, clasping your hands. We're going to go, come into a locust pose. So the first time, we're only going to lift our upper body, keeping your toes, tops of your feet on the mat. So we're going to look forward on an inhale, lift the chin and chest, pull the hands up, away from the back body here, holding for five, four, lift higher, three, two, one, exhale, lower down, your other ear comes to the mat. Resting for a moment. Now we're going to come into full locust pose. So look forward on the inhale, lift everything up off the mat, even your legs. The closer you can keep your knees and feet together, the harder you're going to work. For five, lift it up. Four, higher. Three, squeeze the glutes. Two, one, exhale, lower down, ear to the mat. Resting for a moment. Now place your hands under your shoulders, coming up into tabletop position. Crossing at the ankles, coming all the way back, finding yourself on your back. Now, bend the knees, walk the feet in to where you can touch your heels with your hands here. We're going to do three bridge poses. So if you'd like to go into full wheel, that's fine. I'll do full wheel on the third one. So on the inhale, lift the hips, clasp the hands behind you, walk the shoulder blades in, lifting, pushing through the hips, pushing strong through your heels, through the whole foot. Don't let the toes come up for five, four, pushing strong the pinkies into the mat, three, two, one, exhale, lower down, release. Bring your knees in, move them side to side. Whatever movements feel good on your spine here. All right, second one, plant the feet, clasp the hands, lift the hips. Pushing strong into the feet and the hands. For five, four, three, two, one. Lower down on the exhale. Move the knees back and forth. Now plant the hands, you can do the same thing, or place your hands on the mat, fingertips facing your shoulders, on an inhale, push up, full wheel for five, pushing the 
chest forward, four, trying to straighten the arms, three, lift the hips, two, and one. Slowly lower down, you can bring your head to the mat. And again, moving the knees side to side. Now from here, I'm going to scoot up a little bit because I've scooted down. We're going to come into a canoe pose. So hollow body, point the toes, lift the shoulders off the mat, holding here for five, four, three, two, one, lower down, bend your knees again. Now move your hips to the left, drop the knees to the right, bring your hands into a cactus shape on the mat here, looking over your left shoulder. Supine spinal twist for five, four, three, Two, one, inhale, bring the knees up. Exhale, hips to the right, knees drop to the left. Looking over your right shoulder for five, four, three, two, one, inhale back through center. I want you to lift the legs so that your toes are pointing towards the sky. Cross one leg over the other, crossing at the knees. Bend the knees, reach down and try and grab your feet. If you can just grab your shins here, that's fine. Try and grab the feet and pull them in towards your hips. It's the reclined cow face pose. Really feeling it in that right hip. If your right leg is on top, left hip if your left leg is on top. For five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, legs come up. Exhale, cross the other way, reach down, grab your feet. This side might be tighter than the other. We're never fully balanced. Pulling the feet down and in towards your hips for five, four, three, two, one, inhale, lift the legs. Exhale, bend the knees, bringing the knees close to your chest here. I want you to lift your upper body off the mat, try and reach around and grab opposite elbows, maybe just wrists, that's fine. Upper body is off the mat. Exhale, lower down, squeezing the knees towards your chest. I want you to engage jaw and dark, Jalandara Banda by looking down at that little diamond shape that's being made between your knees and your forearms. So as you simultaneously squeeze the knees towards the chest, I want your tailbone to point down to the mat. Really deepens the stretch here. You can flex the feet for five. Wind relieving pose. Four, three, two, one. Inhale the legs to the sky. Exhale slowly lower down with control. Using your core here. And when your heels find the mat, spread them wide. Spread your arms wide, palms up. Eyes closed. Finding your Shavasana here. Losing track of that technical Ujjayi breath. Just 
Really let yourself melt into the mat. Take a couple of minutes here to thank yourself, your body, your mind for showing up today on your mat for you. Lie here until you feel complete. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste.